What's up everybody, Poke Chaos here with, I guess, a different sort of video. I mean, if you're into the TCG, it is a TCG video, and I will be showing a stack of cards to you. This stack of cards, specifically, is from the Breakpoint pre-release. Um, I wasn't able to actually record there, like, literally all I have is my phone. It, I didn't bring anything with me aside from my phone, so I wouldn't have been able to, like, hold my phone up and do it. it but it doesn't matter. I, I have the cards here. There's nine packs worth. Uh, I know some... I, I don't know exactly how pre-releases work everywhere. They could be different. But in this one, they, they gave you the six packs initially. You built your deck. I'll talk kind of about that. I have these ordered by number. But I'll, I, I know some of the basic stuff I had in my deck. Um, they gave you the six packs. Then... At the end, they gave you the two packs, but in the in between the rounds, they gave out an extra pack to... I think everybody got an extra pack. There was like 13 people there. I think I got an extra pack. I know that for sure. I know the people like in the general vicinity that I was in, in like the Masters division, I guess, got an extra pack. So... But getting there <laughs> was obnoxious. Um... So I drive to, I, I, I look it up on a, the whatever, the Apple Maps, the, the I, iPhone Map app, whatever, and I, I drive there, it's not, not difficult, but I get there and it's a mall. Now, looking at a card shop, I'm looking for a card shop. And I get to a mall. I mean, you don't think a card shop's in a mall. I got there half an hour before the registration started and didn't actually find the store until five minutes before registration was going to end. I was literally about to just leave and not be in the pre-release. But I ended up figuring out that it was in the mall that it wasn't just, like, near the mall. It was in the mall. Found it out. I figured it all out. And I got it. I got it. I got there, obviously. Again, you see the stack. I'll show them, of course. And also, along with the packs that were given, I'm going to show this card before I switch over to the card opening view, I guess. They, got, they gave everybody there this Eevee. Black Star promo, um, 11. It is a Wizards of the Coast card. I don't know how you would have originally obtained this. Nothing, you know, particularly special, but still a cool little extra. And they also have, like, their the business card there. Um, I don't see any reason to, you know, not be allowed to show that, but if you know where that is, or anything, if you're in the Southern California area. So that, I thought was cool. Got a, a promo that I didn't have for free. Might not be in the best condition or anything, I don't know. Maybe it's just the sleeve. But still, cool card to get. Um... So what you, what you guys want to see is the cards. So I'm going to pause the video and switch over to the other um, view because I only have the one camera. So I'll see you guys in just a second. And we're back. Um, I got, it's, it's a big stack. It's, you know, 91 cards. I have them sorted in order, aside from the rares, or not the rares, the hollows or better, and the reverse hollows, which will be at the end. And it's 91 cards total, so I'm just going to go ahead and start off with a small handful here. I'm going to try to get these nice and 
Got some Chikoritas. Got Tackle and Blot. It's looking at Fennekin. Got C Dot. I'm gonna try to go a little slow just because. Oh, you know what? I have them in order, and then I'm gonna put them in reverse order. So we got C Dot. It's got Ram. I'm assuming Nuzleaf and Shiftry are probably also in the set. As you can tell, I didn't get it. I got Krigatot, got Krigatoon, Petalil, Growlithe. Now, Growlithe and Arcanine from the set. Common and uncommon, but two of my favorite cards from the set right now. Because Arcanine is what won me two of my three rounds. Uh, a lot of people... Well... At least the people in my division got Sigilif, which one of its attacks is like if you damage it during your next turn, you it does 60 damage to you. Fortunately for me, I had this Arcanine, which its flamethrower attack does 90 damage, which is exactly the HP Sigilif had. So I was good there for my first two rounds. My last round, I ended up going up against a... Trevenant, which is pretty terrifying. Oh, we got heat more there. Uh, that was in one of my last three packs, so it wasn't part of my deck, or I would have used it for sure. Um, got Psyduck. Mostly I used Arcanine. I relied on Arcanine along with... Um, I built a fire, water, electric deck. Uh, the two electric Pokemon that I had, fortunately for me, used colorless energy, so I only had to have fire and water energy in the deck. When I get to them, I will make sure to mention them. I didn't use any of these shelters or something. I think I might have had one star you just because it does 20 damage for an energy. It's I actually I think a lot like the basic the base set star you as it had smack. I did use this, but I never actually used it because I only have one. I mean, search your deck for a trainer card. That's helpful. Water Splash, you can do up to 100. I think I had that in the deck, but it didn't do anything. Like, it didn't get used. Got some Time Poles. Palpitoad, I had those, but again, didn't use them. Literally, the only thing successful for me in using was Arcanine. So that was that stack. I'm gonna. Oh, yeah, okay. I just happened to pull a bit of a stack and it stopped it before I had any doubles. This, if I had gotten it, well, I didn't get any ducklets. This would have been helpful if it wants to focus on the attacks. Are you... Come on, camera. There we go. Because it uses colorless. I mean, not that there's a colorless energy. Then I had Fro uh, the Froki line. I only had three, or one of each, so it never got used. I tried in my last match, but only ended up getting Froki. Um, so you should get two. That was like my last rare. No, it was my second to last one. I used Blitzel and Zeb Strika because they both only use colorless. And I figured Crashing Bolt, if it had came to be, would be helpful, being that it does 60 more damage to a Pokemon that has Fighting Resistance. I got Drowsy, Hypno, uh, with the Good Night Babies. Once during your turn before you attack, you may leave both active Pokemon asleep. Got some Score Rupees. Nothing special about that. Esper. Dewblade. No Hone Edge, though. Phantom, which, of course, they give you the promo, um, the pre-release promo afterwards, so you couldn't use it in the deck. This one's actually pretty, pretty interesting, at least for pre-release. If your opponent's Pokemon used an attack during his or her last turn, use it as this attack. Uh, Gibble. Didn't get a guard jump, unfortunately. I got a couple Gibbles, and I got Gabite. Garchomp would have been nice. Pancham. Pangoro. 
I don't know if that was just lucky in numbers. Pancham is 71, and Pangoro is 75. So there's a couple fighting Pokemon or dark Pokemon in between there. Not Pharaoh Seed. And Pharaoh Thorn. Might be able to take the. Okay, so I'm gonna hold off on the uh, reverse hollows, and the hollows are better. We got Clefairy. Another Clefairy. Spritzy, nothing special about Spritzy. We got Aromatisse. But of course you're going to use the XY Fairy Transfer one if you need to. Rattata. Another Rattata. Dunsparce. Glammeow. Glammeow. Furfro. Furfro again. Delinquent. This is a card. I mostly play TCGO. Uh, literally the pre-release was like the first time I've actually played a physical game of Pokemon TCG in a long time. This is a card I will never use because you discard any stadium in play and if you do your opponent discards three cards from his or her hand. I know that people are going to take forever to pick what cards they want to discard and I'm just too impatient for that. But it is a decent card. Um, it got used on me in my last match with Reverse Valley. Yep. Gyarados, Spearlink, obviously. Max Elixir, you get to look at the top six cards of your deck and attach basic energy you find there to a basic Pokemon on your bench. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. Misty's Determination, this is a, a supporter I'm glad I got. Discard a card from your hand if you do. Look at the top eight cards of your deck and put one of them into your hand. You don't have to show it to your opponent. Um, it helped me get an Arcanine in one of my first two matches. And we got Potion, Potion, Potion. One of the other guys near me got three max potions. I'm like, yeah, I got three regular potions. Professor Sycamore, we know what that does. And Splash Energy. This card can only be attached to a water Pokemon. Obviously, if the water Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, put that Pokemon into your hand, discard all cards attached to it. Nothing special. Would have liked a better effect. So now we'll go on to the Reverses slash hollows are better. First up, I got a Cloister. I don't think I got this regularly. Sudden Grip and Surf. Uh, yeah. Palpitoad, which I know I saw earlier. Shinx. Trubbish. Another Dewblade. Yeah. Aromatisse. Uh, Rattata. These are also in order by number. Just I wanted to keep the reverse separate. Dunsparce, and that's it for the reverse hollows. So we got a Meganium Hollow. This was like my first or second pack. Obviously I didn't get a Bayleaf, so I wasn't able to use it. But it does, uh, it, if the Pokemon, if this Pokemon's remaining HP is 50 or less, it, its attacks do, its attack, I guess it should say, does 70 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. And then heal from this Pokemon, same amount of damage you did to your opponent's active Pokemon. So if you're less than, uh, than 50 HP, or 50 HP or less, you're going to do 120 and then heal 120. So that's... That could actually be good, especially with Forest Giant Plants, being able to get it out pretty quickly. It does take three energies to use. We got Mega Gyarados. Um, I wanted... Mega Scizor, because of the artwork with him crushing the attack name. But Mega Gyarados, cool. Blast Geyser. Yeah. 20 more damage for each water energy attached to this Pokemon. If you do, discard the top two cards of your deck. So you don't have to do it if you only need 120. It could be it could be used. And we got Golduck Break. I don't know why I have uh, the promo last, but it's got the ability Hyper Transfer as often as you like. During your turn before you attack, you may move basic energy from one of your Pokemon to another of your Pokemon. So it's kind of like the Aromatisse from X and Y, but you can move any energy you want. And 
Oddly enough, I got both of those in the same pack. Unfortunately, the guy next to me got Trevenant Break and Full Art Dark Rai EX in the same pack. And then last... Oh wait, nope, not last. Well, I think these are in order by number two, that's why these are last. We have the Aegislash, a Painful Sword, double the number of damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokémon, and Megaton Slash does 100, and this attack does 10 damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokémon. Don't apply weakness resistance. And last but not least, we have the Trevenant, the promo, or the breakpoint symbol. Nervous Seed, as long as this Pokémon is your active Pokémon, the attacks of your opponent's basic Pokémon cost one energy more, which is devastating in the pre-release. If you pulled this out of one of your packs and w were able to get it out, you were good. And then Energy Press, this attack does 10 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokémon. So when I was up against it, I couldn't do anything because I couldn't attack and then had to have the more energies I had, the more damage it did. But that, that was all the cards that I got. Um, I was happy, even though I only got uh, one EX and one break. Did see some other people cool, pull some cool stuff. Um, but I have to say, the event itself was awesome. Will I go to the next one for Fates Collide? Definitely. I don't think there's one for Generations, so I can't say I would go to that one. But for Fates Collide, definitely. Especially because it has Alexam EX, and that's... Alexam's one of my favorite Pokémon. Maybe, like, top ten. But I'll definitely go again. It's too much of a drive to actually go to, like, regular events, like tournaments and stuff. But for pre-releases, I'll definitely do it. 30 bucks get got me nine packs and a cool promo. Well, two cool promos, I guess. So if you guys are debating on going to a pre-release, if you have a pre-release near you, I would suggest going if you like the TCG. But that's it for me. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.